coach, pretty spirited one, 70 minutes of hockey with a, a shootout. Fans kind of got everything they could have asked for in this one. Your thoughts? Well, again, um, you know, for us in evaluating our game, I thought our first period was uh, okay, a little a little sloppy at times. Um, Ohio State's a really good hockey team. they got some veteran guys who can skate and real solid up and down their lineup. I thought we settled down a little bit after the first after the first period and started to kind of play our game. That power play goal was huge, obviously. I thought we had some really good chances to, to go up 2-1 and uh, we hit a post or their guy made a nice save. Um, I thought in the third it went back and forth. Both goaltenders played great tonight. Uh, both teams had their chances in overtime and uh, you know it goes down as a tie for NCAA purposes. Um, again, happy with our team and the experience that we're gaining in these in these situations that are really not situations you can replicate in practice. You got to understand the feeling of being in a tight game, going into overtime, going three on three. Uh, in overtime, we had to kill a penalty to uh, to keep the tie and. Uh, Larkin made some huge saves, and our defense core blocked some huge shots. And, you know, it, all these little things that are nuances that are going on in a game like tonight are all good uh, building blocks for, for us down the road. So um, it's over. We played hard. Uh, both teams played hard. Um, we get back to work on Monday. Uh, you've never shied away from playing freshmen, and you got 14 of them this year to, to work with. Um, could you speak a little bit to um, to their play, especially after settling down in that first period, and specifically Larkin uh, uh, coming up big in the third and really keeping you in it? Yeah, I, I mean, they're part of our team. Uh, we never really look at them as freshmen or sophomores. We juniors or seniors or whatever it may be. To me, we're we're a team, and we've got guys that need to play in those roles. And yes, maybe they don't have the experience that everybody else has, but you're on the ice. You're you know, you have a responsibility and play the way we want you to play and the way you're capable of playing. And you're here for a reason. And we have a standard that we have to uh, keep. And we're going to hold each other accountable. And that's what we do. And so guys like Larkin, big saves when he had to, that's his job. Uh, that's his role. He knows that. And he relishes in that. Um, Switzer, big block shot on a two-on-one in overtime. Uh, uh, Gordy Green, you know, all the guys. Carson Meyer hits a crossbar, great play. Um, great play on the power play to to screen the goaltender and, and keep it in. Um, so a lot of good things from everybody. Uh, and I thought Anthony Lewis was great tonight, uh, really dancing out there and, and making things happen. Josh Melnick. Uh, I mean, you go up and down our lineup. Louis Belpedio might have had a tough first period, but uh, boy, he came back and, and played really well. Jared Brandt, um, you know, Hutz. I, I can go on and on and on. Um, but again, I think we're getting better. And uh, that's our goal. Uh, Ohio State came in here ranked this year, and uh, you know every year you guys have them on the schedule. Is there something special about seeing this game on the calendar, especially early on with that in-state rivalry? Absolutely. I mean, um, I, I said it earlier in the press conference in the week. We respect the rivalry. Um, we respect playing Ohio State, and uh, uh, you know you get up for these games. And uh, I thought our crowd was great tonight. Um, you know, it's a special time when you're playing your in-state rival. With all the goals this year coming on the power play, how do you look to get more even strength chances? Well, we can't hit the crossbar and post, so that's one. Uh, so we might have to work on that a little bit. But uh, I thought we had some good flurries. Uh, you know, jeez, uh, I thought Anthony Lewis had probably four shots in a row there in the third period, five on five. So we're doing a lot of good things. Um, it'll come. Uh, we're getting a lot of good scoring chances, and that's, that's the main thing. Ohio State definitely seemed to have um, pretty dominant physical presence. Do you think the young team responded well to that in front of the home crowd? I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't think we backed down. Um, we got some big boys. Uh, I thought both teams played very good hockey tonight, and it was up and down. And um, you know, I don't know what their coaching staff thinks of it, but uh, I thought it was a pretty good college game. Okay. Thanks. All right, Ryan. Uh, you know, first regular season game in front of the the home fans. Uh, I know you got. Uh, the taste of Goggin with Waterloo, but I guess your general thoughts on this atmosphere tonight against uh, the in-state rival. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, first game was awesome. The uh, student section really helped us out tonight. Um, the the crowd in general just 
um, really got our energy up and really helped me. Um, so it was, a, it was a fun game to be a part of, especially against Ohio State. It's pretty back and forth uh, affair, both goalies uh, getting some great A scoring chances, I guess. Uh, How did you feel comfort-wise in the crease today? I felt good. Uh, I knew our guys were going to help us out. Um, our guys always are, are always there to back me up. All I have to do is make the first save. So um, our defensemen did a good job tonight, and our team did a good job of uh, clearing guys in front and getting rebounds out of there. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.